keep putting things away and taking them back out. So let's see what we got so far. We've got that's gluing, which I think it's good now. So I'm going to take those off. lint roller afterwards but that's what we have for the cover okay so now we have I brought this over to the sewing machine and I sewed the edges let me just pick this up while I'm talking because while it doesn't bother me it might bother you because it's so cluttery looking and I work in a mess and then I get it all cleaned up and I start all over again and make another mess. So let me just have a drink of water and be real. Let's be real. When we work and we do this, we make a mess. All right, I went from one thing to another. So this is some ticking, which now that I think about it, I probably should have gone the other way, have the stripes go down. But it's too late for that because I'm not going to waste the paper. Do you see my little dabber? Do you see it? What are you supposed to do about that? Um, I'm going to have to find out what to do when the ink pads dry out. I mean, it's only a month old and it's not like it sits out all night uncovered because I wish I had some gloves that fit me because the glue on the hands, a lot of people say it bothers them after a while. I do agree. It's beginning to be a little numbing to your fingertips. Not to mention, I'm hoping my uh, nails are going to hold up for Tomorrow is Christmas, which I just have a few of my kids over, the ones that live here, and the rest of them are going to enjoy time with their family. It's kind of something I'm getting used to. Having seven kids is always really busy. and. I miss it, but I can't do anything about it, so I have to work with what I have. I sewed this velvety tab on there. I thought that was kind of pretty. Now I'm saying craft with me or do it with me, and I've done some of it, but I'm showing you what I've done. So I sewed that little pocket on there. It's got a little heart inside that's gold. Now this I took from a card that somebody had given me that I thought was very appropriate for this particular journal. So I'll let you read it and then I will ink it because I was debating if I should sew around the edge of that, but sometimes I want my journals to be different. I mean, I like certain colors and I keep gravitating to those, but I do want to stretch out a little bit and do different things. Now I like this and I just saw this. See, this is what happens when you see things, you get creative with it. If you don't see them, then you don't. I could actually put this as a little background, couldn't I? Um, this is more, if I could rip this without destroying it, or could I do this? Could I take my scissors without cutting myself and just stress the edge of it? Yeah, I could do that. How about this? Then I'll take it and I will ink it up. I guess it would be better to use your dull scissors for this. I 
have glazed ham cooking in the oven. It's Christmas Eve. My son is out doing last minute Christmas shopping. And my daughter is upstairs sulking because she thinks she didn't get what she wanted for Christmas. Hmm. Yeah, that's what she's doing. I won't tell you how old she is. But now let's ink this. And then we'll glue it down. And it can still look good. Now I see the lace right here. Should lace go under it? Oh, I think that's a nice little addition. I don't know how it looks on camera, but I think it looks kind of nice. No, I don't. I want to go like this. Oh, you know, I like it and I like the lace sticking out on the edge. And instead of gluing this, I kind of think I need some under here too. I just love it. I really do. It just helps me to focus on something nice and fun. And before you glue it, flip it around and make sure that's where you want it to be because I think it looks, does it look better that way? Well, yeah, I kind of like it like a little off anyways. A little off like this. Okay, so I finally made a decision. This is why I have the plastic here, because you can do that and then press it down. And this bottle of glue is so awesome compared to the other one. The other one was fighting me every step of the way. Just like certain family members. Did I say that? Okay, so you never had any family members fighting you all the way, huh? Well, you never had seven kids, apparently. And a mother-in-law who took you a long time to get used to each other. We took a long time to get, we've, I've been married 40 years. And Graham's, she's in heaven now. And I really miss her. I miss her bumping into me in the kitchen, chewing on her olives and pickles. That's what she used to always bring Christmas. Well, she brought a lot of stuff. She was so good. There's another one. All right, so this was a mistake that turned into a creative process. So I was trying to sew on my machine a decorative stitch, but it was too thick and it was ripping the paper. So I said, what can I do with this? So I turned it into a flip, a flip door. Okay, so when I open up the door, I want to see this pretty picture back there. I'm going to do something more too, because I don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to do something more. Maybe I'll write something right here. Don't know yet. i got to think about that. Just do that. Oh, then I'm feeling, should I? Should I take this and... Oh, no. I know. Oh, I just thought of something. This is... Brad's age when he went to heaven. Okay, here we go. It's still Christmas Eve and I am coming to the end of this book. This um toaster strudel journal. <laughs> That's funny. I used the sticker and it's so funny. I bought the stickers. I really love them. 
and when I use them I feel like I'm cheating does anybody feel like that it's really weird it's kind of like when you um when you're drawing and you use like a stencil or um, if you're painting and you trace it or something like that it's it's funny but you know it's cute so why do I do that to myself I don't know okay so I am ready to do some binding here so I have my needle threaded and sometimes when you get on film you kind of forget what you're doing so I'm gonna try to reorient myself make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing here last time I I'm ruined my fingernails worked my fingernails to you know what it's 1030 but Santa Claus already came so that's good the stockings are hung and they're all filled for my son, my grandson, and my daughter. Now, did I do that right? No, I don't think I did. I used my crop, crop, a, crop a dial. I had to read the directions first, which I don't like doing that. I hate reading directions. I don't know what's the matter with me. I just don't like reading them. I found good use for the sticker wrapper packaging I make my little dots for the binding I'm going to try to save this for the next time I make this size use to punch through and I have that fabric oh that's a big big punch this isn't all for sewing well it's called a stiletto in the sewing world a binding we will go, a binding we will go, there we go, all the way through, oh, ouch, okay, thanks Heloise, be a help, help around the house, now, which is going to go first, who wants to be first, this one, this one wants to go in the first. I should make marks, but I'm just going to go for it. It's right at the top. Why? Why? What's wrong with my... I'm watching so many people with different accents that I don't even know what my own is now. Okay. through the thread so we're gonna go up here top and make a figure eight so we're gonna come out here out the back into this back oh it helps if you put it through. It helps if you um, include the cover when you're doing it. Okay, I think I did that before. Yeah, that's what I did before. Got a little crazy there. Okay, that's better. Now, hold on to that. Come back here. I'd like to clip this down. Need to get some more of these clips. That will not work. All right, turn it over. Make sure you're in the right spot before you commit. Oh, there it is. Not claiming to be an expert, just claiming to be someone who's having fun doing journals. 
Maybe someday I'll look back on this and say, oh, you improved. Look at this. Oh, this is funny. Funny, funny. There. To this. This is my fifth one, but this is what I do. Boy, I'd hate to see me with a big, huge one. Oh boy. And you're not supposed to split it, so I didn't. I caught it. I caught it before I split it. There's a will, there's a way. Embroidery floss. This is a uh, wax twine. Okay, so come over here and then go one to here and then tie it. And if I was really good, I'd leave it long enough and then I could tie a little bead or something on it. I don't know if I'm that good. We'll see. We're going to call that one done. There. I need these. Okay, I sped this up a little bit. And the TV's going in the background. Sorry. I'm trying to hurry up. Got to get to Miss B. For 2 o'clock. So... This one went a little better, took me five minutes instead of 11 minutes, so that was great. So improving with each one, hopefully. So we'll get this one in and then we'll see what it looks like after we dress it up. Two, three. All right. Come here, Heloise. Oh. Let me get my holes in here first. One, two, three. Go all the way through. Almost. And then get rid of that needle for run into a problem. Tie this. And I might leave that because I'm not done yet. Okay, so this is what I have for the cover for ideas so far. I think I just figured out the name of this book, this journal. A Closer Walk With Thee. That's what the name of it is. On and off a surface table, in and out of hand. It's got to have some kind of stability with the elements that are being placed on it. It's got to be secure. Now I'm covering up with that pretty brown and green, which I didn't really want to do, but. I ended up doing. That's what we do, right? Okay. Got this. That something came in. I feel like using that. Ah, oh, let's see. Sheesh. Nothing stays 
run this place. I cut it up. How about that? That could be interesting on the back there. Let's see. Oh well, I had a nice pretty bag for something. Now it's for something else. Somebody's having fun upstairs. Oh, why these scissors? How about that? I mean, do we really need to do that? I kind of feel like I do since I started this. Now I gotta keep going with it. Very nice. All time will tell, right? I'll just have to glue something else. Okay, I'm done. It's 11.30. December 24th. 2020. And this journal is done. It's called A Closer Walk With Thee. All right, let's have a little peek now. I'm attempting all kinds of things now. I've attempted a tassel. I don't have all the tools that probably everybody else has, but I have some, so I attempted the tassel. And I attempted jewelry. So, this is the closure. It's a little envelope. Which, I should put a little note in there. This is the back. And it's got little tassels and little jewelries. Oh, listen to that back noise. Um, this way. Get that. Alright, let's see what's inside it. It's some nice paper. Graph paper. And this, the best thing about the future is that it comes one day at a time. Abraham Lincoln. So... We get a nice little pocket right here. This is my attempt for the jewelry. It's got a little mermaid on it. And we got some little cards here that I'm not going to take out every one of them because it takes forever for journaling. And this is one of my favorites. It's um, it's a book that I got. It's a calendar that I got from Hobby Lobby, and it didn't even have all the... It wasn't even a full pack, and they made me pay full price, which was half price, but still. I like that gold vellum. Love this color combination. is a coastal picture because Allie, who I've made this for, she likes these colors and she likes beachy stuff. For her graduation party and Brad's graduation party, we did a coastal theme. I like how those pages picked up on each other. So some decoration and some spots for journaling. Another little piece of jewelry down there. And that's just a reminder.
that just happens to be on the other page, other half of the page, so we can't do much about that unless we want to continue to cover every single thing, but we don't. We don't. But we did, I did finish this in a day. Once I get started, I can't stop. It's hard getting started sometimes, but once I do get going, it's hard to stop. Here's that picture that I painted last night. My, I, I was bidding on some authentic um, music paper today and yesterday on eBay, and it was 20 pages of 1903, and the bid was up to $13, and I said, nah, you can have it. Maybe someday I'll get a happy mail. I hear people talk about that all the time. This, I just included this piece of um, 50s fabric just because it's pretty and because it's, you know, an interesting, different thing to do in a journal. It, it, I think it is. I haven't seen it yet. Love these. And as the other picture that I painted last night, I liked this one better, but that's my second attempt at watercolor. And I have cheap, cheap watercolors paints too. So this is another sticker. This is a little pocket in here. like this one. Give you time to read it. I thought that was nice. Now this turned into a... Oh, I didn't even expect that guy. Oh, I don't know what... Oh no, I know, I know what it is. Um, I've got to change that it's a back of a magazine it's this picture so I thought that was pretty I could put it on the back of a card um, cardboard card but I'm not sure if I want to that's my little pocket and this is a little you know what it is coffee dyed no tea dyed and this I thought was pretty Victorian. And these little things I just got. This is a pretty thick journal. I kind of didn't really I like this. God is in all the love we feel for playmates and family and friends. Cute. So this is one half of a page of a little girl. The little girl is on the other half of the page. You'll see. Ah, this is my son's boots. Hmm. I'll leave that to the imagination. There's my dangling bead jewelry. Love this little glass, um, rosy color. So here's the little girl. See, she's on here, on this way. And then I took a gold pen and just kind of traced. And the warm, strong hug of our daddy's arms. That's the other half of that picture. That's a note card to remove and journal on. And some plain ones that is necessary, I think. 
nice castle in that uh, dictionary. A little surprise underneath the flap. And that is that. That is the back. I ended up covering up my fantastic binding job. LOL. Yeah, so now we will close this. We go underneath possibly our little jewelry around here. Come here. Make this. It actually holds it nice, too. Take our little envelope. Put it on there. And there we go. So that's A Closer Walk With Thee. That's the name of this one. I finally figured out that's what you're supposed to do, I think, is name your, your journals. So I hope you like it. I'll see you on the next one.